When you're dealing with a large group of people, compiling data gathered from all of them can be a complicated process. You'll have lots of data to review and calculations to perform, and even when you're careful and you know what you're doing, this can take a lot of time and it's easy to make errors. Creating and using a form in Google Docs streamlines the process of gathering information by automatically entering responses that are collected online in a spreadsheet. You can review those responses and even generate an automatic summary of information, complete with graphs of the data. You created a form that you sent to a number of people. Now that some time has passed and data has been collected, you want to look at the responses and analyze the trends. In the All Items list of Google Docs, we can see the spreadsheet called Cover Judge Questionnaire, which is the form we created. Let's open it to review the data Google Docs has compiled for us. This spreadsheet was created when we created the form, and this is where the data is automatically compiled when people return their responses. The column headings relate to the questions in the survey, and the rows show us the answers. But this is raw data and doesn't give us the overview we want. The form menu, which shows in parentheses how many responses have been recorded, has the options we're looking for. On the form menu, we have a few choices to make. First, let's go to our live form so that we see what our respondents see, which should help us understand this spreadsheet a little better. Here's the form we created as it appears to the people filling it out. It has a basic theme applied and, from top to bottom, a text entry question, a multiple choice question, a rating scale, a list from which to choose, a checklist, and a paragraph entry. Now that we know how each answer is entered, let's close this and return to our spreadsheet. Let's open the form menu again to look at the rest of the options. The check mark next to accepting responses means that our form is still live and new responses will be added to our spreadsheet. We're done collecting data, so let's toggle this to disable the live form. Now we're ready to view the summary of the survey responses. We need to open the form menu one more time. Here's the summary of the data provided by the people responding to our form. Notice that text entries are listed in order, and the responses to our multiple choice question are shown as a pie chart. Let's scroll down in this window to see more. Our rating scale and list choice results are both displayed as bar charts, and our rating scale also shows percentages next to each answer. Let's scroll down one more time to see the end of our summary. Our checklist is a bar chart with percentages, and the paragraph entry shows the text entered. Finally, the summary uses the timestamp column to show the number of responses per day as a line chart. This data is so easy to read and understand. When you collect data from forms, Google Docs makes it simple to review the responses you get back. There's no need to be a math wizard either. Google Docs does the work for you.